What's up guys? This is Toaster Souls. Uh, by personal request, I'm making a tutorial video today on uh, how to do, um, like, save your file to online or a USB so you can either transfer it over to uh, another console or just using um, what some people do to duplicate. Now, this isn't necessarily showing you how to duplicate items, but it's pretty simple. Um, what I'm really trying to show you how to do is just transfer files. Also, uh, it's useful if you want to do PvP on Dark Souls 3 and you want to change up your build, but you don't want to have to start a new game plus, you know, by uh, using this, you can save your file at a certain place in time to where you don't have to uh, go into NG plus to do Rosario's uh like uh, reset you know so uh, you can use this to basically do reset your stats as many times as you want just make sure you get all your upgrade items prior to saving so that you don't actually use them uh, anyway here we go so you want to go to your your uh, settings go down to application save data management and you can manage your saved data in your system storage. Now, this is what's going to be on your console, obviously. Uh, what you want to do is you either choose, if you have a USB, you can copy it to your USB storage. If you have a PlayStation Plus, you can use your online storage, which is fine, which means this is the easiest one to transfer to any console as long as you have online. You would just transfer, upload it to online storage, and then whenever you get to your different console, you would go down to... Uh, save data in online storage and then you would upload it to your console but let me do this really quick I'll upload to my online storage I'll go down go to my Dark Souls 3 go to my save data go to upload see it it already says I already have this but it's not up to date I haven't updated this in a while so I'm gonna go ahead and upload my current profile and it's going to overwrite all previous saved data. So what that means is it's just going to delete everything else. That's why I was saying you can use it to uh, basically save your last Rosario's uh, reset. And then once you go to your online, you would go back. And this is the one where you haven't used it yet. So you'd go to download to system storage. Just basically go to the same game, whatever game it is, and then hit download. And it says the following applications. You want to overwrite this save. And you, yeah. So because I uploaded it, this changes absolutely nothing. But say I had, uh, you know, used my last Rosario's blah reset. If I went back and I decided that I want to either go back or even try a different build, I would go back to my online storage or my USB storage. Whichever I had, I don't currently have a USB plugged in, so I can't really use it. Um, but then I would go back to the uh, previous save and just overwrite the current save. And that would just completely allow me to start over. Now, some people do this to duplicate items. What you do is you would upload uh, or save to USB the profile which had all the items. Then once you dropped all your items to your friend you would quit out of the game make sure you don't dashboard because I got soft banned for three days for doing that so just quit out normally then come here come to the go straight to the uh, the data on online or the USB whichever one you have the old file saved to and then overwrite it onto your system that'll get rid of the one where you dropped everything and then it'll go back to the one that has every all the, of your items so it's pretty simple you can have it on auto upload but if you do that you might end up screwing yourself because uh, it'll automatically upload whenever you have uh, you know whenever you already got rid of your items so I turn auto upload off and I mean but if you're doing it through USB storage it, it doesn't matter so just whether this is on or not but I just have it off you know 
if I lose my dad, I lose my dad. Oh my gosh, start over. Ooh. But anyways, this is how, you know. If you have any other questions uh, about stuff like this, or if y'all want any other specific tutorials, I'm gonna start doing Dark Souls three tutorials after this. Uh, I'm going to do some really ultra basic tutorials for new players to the game. And then I'm going to do some more in-depth tutorials. I'm going to do a playthrough that is very specific to... Uh, like the best playthrough I've found to get the most uh, NPC quests done in one go. Now there are some you can't complete uh, at the same time due to... NPC conflicts. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This is uh, Toaster Souls.